content and today in this PSLE 2019 paper 2 question series I'll be going through question 5. My channel I'm to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay so let's jump straight into question 5. Okay so this over here is question 5. Okay so this question is testing us on solid figures. So let's read part A first. The solid below is made up of 5 cubes. So this is the solid and 1 cube here, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube and the 5th cube is under this cube. Okay. So they are telling us this is the front view, side view and top view. So part A, draw the front view of the solid on the grid below. So this is the grid. So they are asking us to draw the front view of the solid. Okay. So in order to do, draw the front view, right, let me show you. So the front view is like this, right, it's sideways, right. So basically, we need to turn it around and make it face us. So when we make this cube face us, this, this solid face us, we will be only able to see these face, these faces over here. Okay, so these four faces. So basically, the front view should be something like this, a square. Okay, there's four squares in between. Okay, mine is not perfect. So let's use the grid and draw that. So first, I'm going to draw one small square. So here's a square. Okay, first you draw a square. After that, you just need to connect all of them up. So this is the top face. Top left hand corner face, okay? So here is it. After that, I can just connect them all up. So it will be easier to see the rest of the cubes or the rest of the squares already. So you can just connect them up. So here, after that, it's be here, okay? One there, okay, sorry, it's not straight line. So when you're drawing right, you must always be a straight line and you must use your ruler, okay? Always use your ruler. If you do not use a ruler, right, your, your teacher will penalize you. Over here, if it's not straight, it's okay because I'm, I'm struggling to draw a straight line. But in the actual exams, you can use a ruler easily and draw a straight line, okay? So this is the front view, okay? So now let's move on to part B and let's, let's read the question. Part B, Susie painted the whole solid cube, so the whole solid including the base. Then she took it apart into its five cubes. What is the total number of faces that are not painted? So let's highlight the key information. So she painted the whole solid including the base. So the base is the underneath this part over here. Okay, she took it apart into its five cubes. So she took it into apart so she take off okay like the lego pieces right you take off that's what they mean so they are asking the total number of faces that are not painted not see not painted this is really important they are not asking for painted but not painted okay so actually not painted means right i've drawn the solid here and whereby you can see the faces inside okay so not painted means right actually the faces are touching each other so in that case it is not painted okay so that's the rule so let's see the first one that is touching each other so this face is touching each other right that means that there is two faces unpainted not painted do you know why because when it's touching each other right and you take it apart there's actually two faces here and here which is not painted after that we just need to find more so there's one here. So this this face is in between this cube and this cube. Okay. So there's also two faces not painted because when you take off, it's the same thing. Okay. After that, there's a face up here. Okay. So it's connected between these two. So when you take off, still two. Okay. After that. I, you can find this face over here if you're keen enough okay some people they find some faces but then they leave out some 
so over here there's also two because this up cube and the below cube when you separate it there's actually two faces touching so same thing here over here also there is two faces touching each other okay so this upper cube and this down cube so when you take it off it's actually touching each other so there's two faces so now we just need to count them up so it's two here two here two here two here and two here so there's actually one two three four five twos so that makes ten so ten is the answer for part b okay so i hope you understood my explanation for this question question five and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye